Um, yeah. No, I don't want to quit. Actually, is this thing going to do the stupid be thing? Beach. Where it's, Are you going to uh, work in FPS Russia somewhere? I hadn't thought about that one. Don't be beach. Mm, be be Russian. Russian. Did he get sued or something? No, he got busted for... He had some substance or something and mm. took all his guns away because a bunch of communists. It's fucking gay. It's bullshit. Can you imagine the waste of fucking guns? He has so many. Yeah, I mean, he's doing fine. He's... Does he have a podcast now? Or something? It's not his, but he's on it. He's a regular. Oh, I mean, he's one of the yeah. three guys on it, but the guy's account is different. I don't know. It's a big time podcast, Ugh. though. I gotta take a piss. I will be back. Okay. You didn't even say it, though, man. What, a piece? Or I'll be back? Alright. Had to be in the spirit, yeah. Hello. Hello. You know what else I just thought of that you could use? What? Dwight from The Office when he puts on the sunglasses and goes, Terminator. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. Oh, it's when he and Michael are uh, going to look at Michael's new condo he's looking at buying. Energies. I, I only saw the first three seasons of The Office, I think. I think that's in the first three seasons. Ah, it's been so long, I don't remember. I don't have I those seasons, wrong. so I don't know if I want to troll back through them <laughs> just to find that moment. Yeah. I mean, I, lo I obviously love The Office from those days, but I just, eh. I mean, I haven't been able to find, you know, because I, did I mention this? You know Kim Bauer from the first season of 24, she gets kidnapped? Yeah, and I've I could never watched 24, but yeah, you told me about this. Yeah, the, I thought she said, my father's Jack Bauer to her kidnappers, and I was going to contrast that with Kate in Terminator 3. But I watched the first four episodes, or I skimmed through them, and I can't find her saying that. And, you know, she's kidnapped for pretty much the whole seasons. Another 20 episodes. I don't know if I want to go through all of them just to find out if she says that line. I might have to cut that bit. Yeah. Can uh, you invite me or whatever? Oh, well, no, you do You do the inviting. I don't know how to... Oh, this up. I don't know either. Well, you did it last time. I'll trust you. Squad? No. And I'll just play off your game. Yeah. Create Apple squad? Oh, I don't think that's what I want. Apparently Timmy's playing Tabletop Simulator or whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Yeah, high energies. Uh, yeah, I've never played that kind of shit. I don't fucking know. I'm an idiot. I was just commenting on it. Yeah. Uh... One in R and two additional points. I don't fucking know what this shit is. <laughs> what? Ah, just you figuring this shit out. Attempting. Doth the music. Oh, doth it. Doth. Oh, doth. Why the hell would I want a fucking pistol? I think I do. I want to turn that off. I'm actually rendering it right now. Ah, yeah, my usage. Uh, do I. Hang on. Uh, why are you not showing his online in Steam? Oh, sorry. Uh, I was set to invisible because someone was... Who was it? Some guy that wanted to live with me. Bitch to me. 
And I told him I just don't want to do it right now. I'm working on a video, so fuck off, basically. Is he a nice guy normally? Uh, he's actually kind of a dick. Oh, great. I mean, but normally he just doesn't bother me. Whatever. Yeah. Make sure you pick uh, the correct loadout you want. Uh, reference getting loadout. a rifle. Um, I don't know. A roll, actually, is what you're going to want to. Oh, a roll, huh? Well, I have a choice of loadouts, apparently. Yeah, I'm just saying, you if you want a rifle, make sure you get a guy that has... Oh, I have to unlock rifle. this. Okay, I have to unlock the specialization. <clears throat> Shit. Yeah, this game doesn't make any fucking sense. To yeah, me. They, they, you know... I like it better where you just pick up the gun and then play. Wait, did I just fuck this all to hell? I don't know. Found a match Are you still loading. in the lobby? I'm loading. Up. Oh, I'm going to the Argon. Squad defense. I spelled it like a bunch of freaking Englishmen. Son of a bitch. Oh, I suck. I think I fucked this up. Oh, dear. Dude, were they me the Belgians? U.S. Marines? I would make a waffle joke, but I've got nothing. Highlanders? Do you want to be Highlanders or Marines? I don't have any. It says waiting for enough players to join. And Dante. I don't. In the server? We're going to go Marines for swag. I don't. What are Tommies? What the fuck does I that mean? I don't know if we're in the same thing. British. Yeah, hang on. We're not. Fuck. Well, can, I'll I can, fix it. I can join off of you. Hold on. Yeah, I'll fix it. Ooh, we'll be Doughboys. I fucked it up. I meant to. I tried to change my settings and I fucked it all the hell. Okay, I'm so. joining your game. A gunner. What the hell Rating is that? Chosen squad. You can get a BAR, dude. Let's fucking go. Uh, I'm gonna join your game again. Okay. Let's try Anyone that says bar is a fucking retard, by the way. I still like my that bar is so low joke. That was good. Very good. Very nice, Gypsy. Yeah, I think All I have is a BAR though, that kinda sucks. Yeah, I think I think we're good. Alright. Well I think it's just the two of us. Who's this dude? Yeah, Fez or something. I think that's a Fez. A Fez? They're on Saint Michael. Yeah. I guess a fucking shotgun shooting like downrange. I've got I've got a, a black dude with what looks like a fez hat. Yeah, I don't have the same loading screen as you. Very weird. I didn't know that there were fezes in French warfare. Whatever. Maybe it's a All different right. kind of hat. It's for swag. I guess. You're gonna look fucking cool. Ah, my gun is clipping through the trench. At least we're on the same game. That's good. good. Game, you know, it's just ah, they need to fix that clipping issue. You know what's so awesome? Wake world. You know what else is so awesome? No, oh, what? An automatic 30 out 6. Mm. <laughs> so fucking Chad. Okay, what are the controls again? Uh, left shift to sprint. And also, when you're aiming down sights, it'll like, well, hold it, your breath. I, I really shouldn't you. be asking you because my controls are different. Ah, indeed. Don't know why you even asked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was more for my benefit. Ah, rhetorical, I see. Kind of, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Is that you? You look like Teddy Roosevelt. Um, yeah, nice thank mustache. You. Thank you. Very stylish. Well, actually, I'm actually sporting a beard at the moment. Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. Benton Clark. Did you? Did yeah, my algebra two kids think that's bloody hilarious. That's good. Oh, we don't, uh, we don't clip. Oh, wait, we do clip. Okay. Can't walk through each other. Yeah, that's what I'm glad it's daytime and uh, not nighttime like last time. Oh, we can hit... Unready. Hang on. F5 is to ready up so we don't waste time waiting. You want me to ready? If you want to. Wait, I am ready. Because the option is to unready. Oh. Here they come. Wait, it's just the two of us, right? Where are the Jerry's? Yeah, it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just two brothers fighting the German cunts. Sorry, German pricks. I don't know why you don't like that word. Uh, it's a very, very rude. Yes, but it's, it's British. You're just an average bloke. <laughs> Good use of British terminology, mate. <laughs> it's the uh, UFC yeah, trash talk. I'm a samurai. <laughs> you highly educated motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is this Oxford? <laughs> I mean, I don't like iron sights in general. Oh, I love them. I'm talking to a guy. Ow. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I play, I play, shoot, Iron Sight Simulator. Such a hater. I am. I, I hate that shit. Oh, that's an enemy. 
Uh, yes, Adam, this is World War One. Well, you just walked right past him. He was shooting me in the back. It was a diversionary maneuver, gentlemen. Uh, I doubt that. <laughs> Reacted the fuck out of me. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Good thing I have my old BAR to take care of me. You get a real gun. The BAR is it? What? It's a thirty out six. Now, how come you get a real gun? Oh, because I unlocked it. That makes sense. I thought you said once you get a real gun. I was like, bruh. Oh no, I I respect the BAR. Kicks yeah. ass. What's up, Jerry's? Right in for it. Nah. I like that you can shoot through the barbed wire. That's good. Yeah, I agree. There are some games, looking at you, Source Engine, where you can't do that. I want to be Your AR sensitivity so bad. is so low. Well, yeah. <laughs> nah, you well, know. you're dead, so I, I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're like, well, then. You didn't see that guy? Ow. Guy on your left. Up. Oh. Well, okay, it's always easy, easy to see when you're not there. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. Remind me, is there friendly fire in this? Yep. I don't think I got hurt. Well, it said team damage minus 10, so oh, maybe shit. it just takes points from me. Wait, if does it didn't hurt not you, have regenerating good. health? Uh, I don't know. Just one of those zoomer shooters, you know? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's a pretty realistic-ish game. Yeah, that's what I mean by zoomer shooters. Boomer shooters are the ones where you actually get to play and have fun. Oh. Boomers, back when good. I thought you were saying zoomer shooter is in like easier zoom around. therefore regenerating health and such. Well, I mean look, headshots to insta kill, that's pretty fucking older games you didn't get to have one hit kill outside of telefragging. Hmm. Who was I talking to that really likes Quake? Not you, it was someone else. Someone very stylish. I think it was my, my, uh, one of my coworkers. In health, okay. Yeah, but I still, what's, what's the run button? I forget. Shit. Shift for me. I know, but not for me. Space for you, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's right. It is space. Shit. Wow, look at that. I know your control's better than you. Well, I usually make that zoom. Why? Because mouse two is jump and space bar is a big, nice big button. Wow, the 30 out six, uh, is really good. Literally just got four kills in four rounds. Oh, you stole that one. You wall bang in this game? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, I just clipped that a little bit. Come on, Jerry's. You alright? I'm okay. There's... Some dudes. Just some guys being dudes. I think I hit him through the tree, though. Right. In. Yeah, the BAR is sweet. Ow, ow. Well, that was whack. I sprinted and it canceled my reload when it was totally over, but okay. I'm getting healthier. I'm gonna I only have six there. Oh, there's one. Up, oh, fall back. Why? I was wandering oh. too far out. I thought you were. Saying you you go a few enemies. feet out, and it's just you must return because you're yeah. about to desert. Get back to the battlefield. Yeah, return to the that combat. Kind of stuff. Return to the combat zone, Biatch. Hey, we did it. Ball bang a little. Okay. Yeah, F five is to ready up. By the way. Well, aren't we ready? Some... Well, did you press F five? Did now. I don't think it'll say anymore. ready up there in green if you. Well, what I have is up. I have. Unready next to F3. So, first of all, I think my ready button is F3. I rebound that. Okay, well, F3 would be the, yeah. Yeah, but I'm already ready, so. No, it's no, it's telling you that you're unready, and when you press F3, it oh! is ready now. Oh, you see, that is unintuitive Artillery as fuck. Artillery run! That is unintuitive as fuck. Your, there's artillery, like, right there. Ow. Pricks. Yeah, we're over here with our rifles, and they bring in the artillery. What a bunch of cheating bastards. Those are the Germans for That's you. That's true, yeah. They'll do what it takes. Oh, I hit him from that far? Wow, it took him out. That was nice. Oop. Ooh, got him. Yeah, the BAR, uh, pretty radical. 
Radical Aces, this game ever. Radical Rex, dude. Yeah, Radical Aces was nice. I need to play that sometime. Didn't they get rid of Adobe Flash Player now? I have no idea. So like hundreds of legendary Flash games are <laughs> no longer playable. Wasn't that game on Java though? I don't know, probably. Good old miniclip.com. Shout out to it. Yeah. Introduced well, us to RuneScape. Yeah, that was the first place we played RuneScape. I can't believe RuneScape was on miniclip. Right. <laughs> I saw a funny meme that was... uh. Oh my <laughs> gosh, there's a billion of them. I was just talking about how miniclip.com All of Saxony's like a fun, over here. Uh, video game, like game website. And it led to like shit, a shit, 20 shit. year RuneScape addiction. <laughs> I'm alive for now. I guess it wouldn't be 20 years, it'd be whatever. Oh. Well, the ragdoll shifted. Don't do oh, that. They are. Nice. Did you just say one last, one last kraut? I didn't. No, I did one of our character models. Shouldn't be fewer. I don't know. One fewer kraut? One less kraut? I, I just couldn't tell whether you said kraut or something else. Anyway. They say kraut in this game, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Isn't that a racial slur? I mean, is our kraut a race? Look, I don't call the French frogs. I don't really mind calling Germans krauts. That's Eyes on the yeah. Keep moving. You just can't call Jewish people. <laughs> okay. You know the word. And does it rhyme with bike? Yep. It does. You see, I honestly don't know how many. A very are... cool bike. Yeah. Um, I have no idea how many terms are for screws. Insulting. Probably a lot. People do. People really don't like them for some reason. Well, maybe I don't know. I just. Uh, I think uh, the thing is in English language, anyhow. I think people just say "g" to you in a certain way, you know. <laughs> yeah. There's some comedian that I heard that was saying that "Jew" is the correct term for a Jewish person, but also can be said to be like a slur, <laughs> like yeah. that, like "Jew." Oh, you it's know? the same thing with "woman." Oh, it's just that woman. I suppose. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. I... But honestly, wow, I, don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever heard anyone call a Jew oh. a, a slur in anger. No, I mean, I, in movies, I guess. Uh, yeah, I just don't know any Jewish... I know one Jewish person, and I don't really... Yeah, that's true. I'm not very close with her. I haven't known that many. Yeah. No. Surprising. Ju Judaism is super common in where Cleveland. we grew up. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said... <laughs> Shocker, Judaism isn't super common where we grew up. <laughs> well, remember uh, the people who ran by Grandma and Grandpa's house? The lady was asking where the nearest synagogue was, and it was... Uh, oh, really? I'm not going to name the city where it was, but it was far away. Uh, I never heard that. Well, then the crazy guy from New York bought the place. Oh, great. Crazy guy. Oh, I got to tell you, uh, I went to a job interview somewhere far away in the state that I'm not going to mention. Um... Why? Why? Yeah, that's funny. Anyway, that's fine. And I drove through a little itty bitty town, and there was a fucking facsimile of Grandma and Grandpa's old yellow house. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, the parlor was there. The only thing missing was the locust tree. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I, I need to get on. You know, I drove by it. I I need to get on uh, Google Street View and look at it and see if it really is the exact same freaking house. You know, the same architect make that or something. Right. It's pretty crazy how they use house designs a lot. Mm -hmm. We have a teammate. Yeah, we do. Kill him? I don't know if we can. Well, I mean, if you dealt damage to me, we could surely overwhelm his healing. Well, that's true. Let's find out. Come on, let's Where'd he go? go? Oh, it's okay. Hang on. Why? Let's not be dicks about this. You brought this storm upon him. I, I mentioned it. I, I brought the possibility of a storm. Did not... Operation. Execute order. French storm. Phosphine gas. No. No es bueno. You require less phosphine gas. I forget. What's the... I don't know. I don't play that game. Oh, I remember my gas Parker. mask. But... And stop calling me the gas mask guy. I got a name, you know. Bravo 3. Bravo 3. Man, I need to rewatch that. I actually showed uh, Mom Muller's uh, Rise of Skywalker video. She laughed quite. 
That's a funny one. He actually wants me to make her a bunch of ringtones and text tones out of Mahler's very sarcastic, wonderful, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. I'm sure that won't be important in any way. <laughs> you definitely need to watch that Captain Marvel one after you watch the movie. I will eventually. I just need to... Do stuff yeah. and things. Yeah, because me stepping six feet that way means I'm deserting. Yeah, what a, what a bitch you are. Yeah, it's true. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. I say I actually don't mind the, the sights on this one as much. Reasonably steady. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I don't like the lower magazine capacity, but uh, it kills pretty well. What is it, a Springfield or something? I don't think so. It, I think it's some French name. It had oh. about eight vowels on the end and probably only gives you one sound. Well, we're Americans, so... I know, I probably stole this from the French guy I killed so that I could actually use it properly. Defend France. Because yeah. <laughs> you know he wasn't gonna. No. Oh. Hey, it's a frog. Ow. Does water specifically do something to frogs? Well, it. Hey. Hey, I've gotten a, a, a blow up thing, an artillery strike. Nice. I, where do I? Where's the phone? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. Damn it. Right here, maybe. Look like it. No oh, coffee cup. Just a cup of coffee, yeah. Oh. You guys called a guy a, a mud crunching hiney bastard. I, Something like that. Each. I don't know. World War One racial slurs. I think slurs, I. Probably. I think I hit it. Hit what? It says press G and HQ artillery strike. Three oh, remaining. yeah. You, you did call artillery, yep. Ah, good. Oh, and it says I have three remaining. So now you Dang, can dude. accumulate these. You're doing good work. I know they called the Germans Huns. Yep, and Boca. Well, What's know that? I don't even know. It's just an insult they use. I actually don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, because I don't know if it's a German word or a French word. Damn, those guys just got wrecked. It might be Bosch or something like that. Oh, a biplane. You... The, the Fokker DR-8 was such a badass. Or was it the DR-7? I don't know. One of those biplanes was really fucking sick. It came along kind of late in the war. Yeah. I mean, everybody remembers the Red Baron's triplane. Did you ever see that footage of uh, American pilots, like, seeing a German jet for the first time? No. Oh. And they're just like awestruck at how much faster it is and stuff. It's what pretty spooky. Fuck? Yeah, they're like, what was that? You know, it flew by like we were, you know, sitting still. It's pretty crazy. I imagine. Yeah, that stuff must be. I mean, who who, who knows what the Japanese thought when bombs fell, you know? Not much. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're far enough away, you might. Yep. Don't mess with our boats, dog. Pearl Harbor didn't work out, so we got you with tape decks. Underrated line from that movie. What was it? Pearl Harbor didn't work out, so we got you with tape deck. <laughs> Dang, you're doing a good job. I need ammunition. Where is my... I don't know. I only have 63 rounds. Which is a lot. Okay, I've got bullets. I found much. bullets. I found some. I'm going to call in another artillery strike. Do it. Yeah, that was a thing, too, for the, you know, mm -hmm. Papa Brewster do it bit. I thought maybe having kind of a cut where, or a split screen thing where on one end you got Palpatine right. in the chair with a headset on. That'd He's be saying funny. do it. I might do, do it. it. We'll see. That's going to be annoying. You might do it. What? I got blown up. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't realize I where I was standing. I just got exploded yeah. instantly. <laughs> I almost died, too. Did I lose points for that? He says, are you guys crazy? <laughs> or, to be more accurate, crack Z. <laughs> Wait, how come you got to respawn? I didn't die. Oh, okay. Oh, that guy has a uh, Ritter Kreutz. 
And that's a very, very impressive decoration he's got there. It's not Blue Max or anything. A what? The Ritter Kreutz is the, um... It's the one that people get mixed up with the Iron Cross. It's the one that bikers have on the back. Kind of curved cross thing. Black and silver. That what have on the back? That bikers have on the back sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Um, that's a Ritter Kreutz or Knight's Cross. Um, the Iron Cross is more squared off. Yeah. That's what you often see on Panzers or whatnot. Right. Um... And then the Blue Max is still another cross that's a really fancy-ass award. A lot of crosses. Yeah, Germans. well, Germany a very Christian nation for quite some time. Right. Are they still? I mean, large parts of them are, you know, but, I mean, Europe as a whole has gotten much more secular. Islamic over How come it takes me so long to respawn? I've been... I guess Just in the middle of a wave. I guess it's a penalty for killing so many Jerry. Oh! No, it's because we're in the middle of a wave right now. Or we can say it's because you're so good there. Yeah, penalizing you. I'm going to go with that. I mean, I think it's more reasonable. You'd almost, com you'd almost completely wipe me out with that artillery, though. Mm. Not very cash Oh, we got money. Cyber Guy now. I mean, I kind of assumed that the AI would be smart enough not to call the artillery in where I'm standing. You know? Nope. Fire on me! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, blow this up. Yeah. Could you imagine? I don't remember the... Oh my goodness, my shoulder. Wait, are we in a different... Ah. No, we're in the same spot. I, my orientation was off just a little bit. Oh, can I call another artillery strike, or did I take those with me to the grave? Uh, I don't know. Where's the phone at? I'm jumping. Oh, you are. Look out, they're attacking! Are you... Oh. Hi. Find you. Hello. Again, I wish I could tell which one was you. Yeah, me too. Now, there you are. Okay, we're, we're together. Right, Roger. Now, now, whoa, I got, oh, I got a uh, standing outside the zone. I died. You Let's deserted? Fight. Yeah, Traitor. apparently. Yeah, I stood outside the it's sandbag right, like, and, and the French military it. immediately assumed that I was leaving. <laughs> they gave you the Russian treatment, went ahead and shot you. Yeah. The, <laughs> shot Fucking you paths you of glory here. Oh, there's a bunch. That's a movie where some French soldiers get court-martialed for cowardice when they really weren't. That sucks. It was okay. It's kind of like Breaker Moran, but not as good. You know what? That's actually, you know, Nick, my uh, Denver friend, he he recommended it. He said, oh, if you like Breaker Moran, you'll love this. And it's just, mm. and I watched it. Just and it's no... it has a court martial in it. Well, look, it's also a, it's a reasonably short film, and it's, it's not preachy, you know? And it's a lot about how shit war is for the guys on the ground, you know? Right. So some of the themes are common there, but it's just not half as great a film. But that's no, that's no Fault indictment. Fault of its own. Look, yeah. if you're half as good as Breaker Morant, you're pretty damn good. Right. I'm actually thinking, you know, if uh, if my T3 video gets any kind of following, you know, maybe a thousand views or whatever, maybe I'll make a Breaker Morant video where I, where and I explain step by step why that movie fucking mm. rules. Unbridled praise type. Yeah, well, yeah, I haven't seen any of his unbridled praises, but something like that where I just say, okay, look, everything in this movie is kind of perfect because it serves a purpose and so on, you know. Chekhov would be pleased. Who? Chekhov will be pleased. Oh, Chekhov is. Chekhov's gun principle. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Saying that things are set up. Right. Makes exactly. Sense. I mean that that movie. I mean, look, there are plenty of lines in that movie that aren't super important, but they all inform the characters in some way. You know. Mm -hmm. um, there's just not. There's no wasted movement in that script. It's really fucking good. And why? Why this game is so weird about the way it designates. I mean, could could it just make your dots different colors? I agree. That would make it fucking perfect. One's blue, one's red, one's green, whatever, you know. For blammo. I mean, I shouldn't be able to just instantly come up with something so superior to what they have. I was thinking the same thing, that you could have different colors, you know. Or just let me yeah. set the colors, you know. Right. Even if I had to do that manually, that would be okay. So 
I don't know where the dang phone is. Bunch of enemies on our way. Yep. Firing at them. I'm not kidding. Made up. Can you imagine having to charge forward in a machine gun fire? I would not be a happy camper. Yeah, that would suck. You ever seen Sergeant York? Nope. Good movie. There's a Sabaton song about that guy. I think he's pretty badass. I can't remember how many Jerry's he captured, but it was a bunch. Yep. Oh, he's in the Airborne, right? Yeah, they call oh, him he was World War One. Oh my bad. Well, I think. Okay, maybe I haven't confused with someone else. I think you might be thinking of Audie Murphy, maybe. No. Definitely Sergeant York. Maybe he had a big impact on the Airborne later on. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe. He's, a, I believe, a Tennessee boy. Conscientious objector who was persuaded that his country needed him, and he just became the greatest ass-kicker of the war. Oh, God. Oh, I ran to the gas like an idiot. Oh, boy, that really jacks you up, huh? The one I can't see actual gas training. Yeah. Not a good time, by the way. Oh, no, not fun. Tear sure. gas is not fun. Oh, yeah, I don't want to die by standing outside the same bags again. All right. You maneuver for a better shot, and the game's all like, you're going to die because uh, right. you're a coward. Get I'm trying trench, to get closer to the is. enemy to shoot them. You walked into ever. the wrong trench, fam. The French army is going to execute me for moving <laughs> towards the enemy. Yep, that's about right. That is 100%. Just That is France right there. Ironic. We execute you because you're advancing. <laughs> Bro, I gunned those last couple dudes down. <laughs> Hey, our, uh, artillery again. Hey! Let's go use it and blow myself Grenadier up. Grenadier wants to switch roles with you. No. What? F off. Oh, that's fucking software Prick. I just wants to update. I don't want to update. I'm fine with the version I have. All my so. dang BAR. I don't want to switch to you, you freaking loser. I really should just skip the version. And... Wait, what is going on here? You two okay? Yeah. Okay. All right now. Help, he says. <laughs> Bad guys. Are you the one standing up or? No, I'm running towards the left side. Okay, I'll head that way. I think that's where our boy is that wants help. Cowards will be shot. Or you could focus on shooting all the Jerry's running at us. Yeah, we could have a pretty nice crossfire setup. Yeah, I don't think you can collateral people. I don't I, oh either. fuck! I stood outside the thing again. the The notification that you're about to get shot for cowardice is so pretty small. Yeah, it's small and quiet. Ah, oh, they're roasting you. Oh, I got blown up. Well, we both got blown up. I keep bringing the enemies, and the French keep executing me. Well, he's the last guy. This isn't good. He's gonna die. He's was, that, was that guy running at him with a meat die. cleaver? He had a shovel, I think. Alright, lads. We are Americans. Friggin' frogs. I actually forget whether that guy had an E on the end of his name. Wash. I... No. Look out, they're attacking! I don't... <laughs> Sorry, I was wiping the mud off my boots. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. That is a good joke. Yeah. I'm here with a cyber guy. Yeah, I'm a... Uh... I don't know, where are these Deutsche bags? Uh, there's some on the left side. I'm true. Yeah, I don't think I'm outside the zone. Not too close to the enemies. Well, I got blown up last time, so... I can't say anything. Reload. Still my kills, bruh. I like the, the... What was it? The creek. No, the, the, the ditch level. 
<laughs> French ditch or yeah, whatever. No, no well, there, there, there are three words. Something French ditch. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Abandoned or empty or... Something like that. I don't know. Scenic? Rustic? Yeah, that was good. What was the adjective? I don't remember. Fuck. You getting overrun? No, I'm okay. I'm with you guys. Just shooting. As you do. Indeed. You cannot wall bang through the tree. Not that one. Reloading. Yeah, BAR is red. Boy, they are far off. Definitely hittable. Hitting them. Yeah, I never managed to beat Radical Aces. Really? Uh, I've gotten to the final boss a few times, but he fucking kills me every time. It sucks. Oh, have you ever beaten him? No. Absolutely not. I can't tell if the game's hard because it's well designed or because it's bad. <laughs> it's, it's, kind of that... it's hard because it's well designed or poorly designed. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of in that Mr. Domino realm. Although, oh, Mr. God. Domino, I definitely lean towards poorly designed. Right. This is so brutal. What do you get? Some help, Four lad. lives to do that game or something? Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Reloading. And it's a memorization game. Yeah, it's not great. Bruh. Squad type to Poilus? What the hell does that mean? Huh. I guess I'll accept. I don't know what that means. Huh. I didn't even vote. I don't know. I voted yes, I guess. I guess I didn't vote in time? I don't know. What is... I don't know what this guy wants. I mean, I'm ready. Where are you going? I'm right next to you, dude. No, cyber guy to is your left. running off. Oh. Where's this artillery? Am I going to get blown up? No, it's on the map, dude. Oh, Stay on the left side, you'll be alright. Frenchies. No Frenchies. Very weak. No, like the baguette. <laughs> it's okay, though he says. Oh, yeah, you're you're you're, you're typing. Okay, I thought you were just talking to me in stream. Bitch, of we have voting power between the two of us. We're not playing as the French, okay? It's not happening. Is he trying to make us French? Yeah. Let's kick him. I don't know if we can kick him. We can try to kill him. That's treasonous, right there. Trying to turn good Americans into Frenchmen. Indeed. Unacceptable. Never thought I'd see the day. Son. Have you been trying to turn us into Frenchmen? You suggest that to bread boys. Right. Dude, who's fault? We got a reasonably wicked crossfire going on. Yeah, I'm uh, not doing a whole there lot. There are right a now. lot of crowds coming at you. Yeah, I'm over here on the left side. They're not coming at me. I'm chilling. I'm just trying to shoot them from the sides. I run out of bullets rapidly. Yeah, I'm getting low. Reloading. I just... Oh, here they come, Julian. Back up. Defend the baguettes. It would be baguettes. Got him. Reloading. And I'm almost out. I don't even know. Do I have a pistol? I don't think I do. I don't have a secondary weapon at all. I just have the BAR because it's kick-ass. So what happens when we run out of ammo? Do we just kind of run around with our fists out? Melee, I guess. Hmm. Strong grenade. Oh wait, our, our teammates are dead. I think. Oh fuck, I can put my gas mask on. Ah shit, I don't want that. Nah, I'm doing the thing where I fire bullets and miss. And I, I'm uh, almost out of ammo. Back up, hustle. Julian. Tactical retreat. We don't get to restock our ammo until between rounds, right? I don't know, I'm gonna try. Oh, I got full ammo. Oh fuck. Please cover me. I'm trying to. Viciously. Gotta reload. Okay, back up. I'm backing, but I'm... Ah, uh, these guys... Uh, oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Oh, they're gonna get me. Ah, that missed that guy. Uh, oh, no! Just cover. I'm reloading. Super clip going in and an extra bullet. Alright, we're good. Reloading. Need you to cover me. Do you have grenades? I don't know. What's the... Okay. 
I have no idea. I if put the gas mask is. on. I was yeah, I did that earlier too. Use a grenade. Bro, Gunner, your aim is quite bad. Hey, how about you go fuck yourself, kid? How about you get a BAR, bitch? Oh, that's right, you can't, because I have it. Hell out of my face. Wait, how come we can't pick up any of the Jerry's guns? I don't know. I got full ammo again. It is better now. Uh oh, uh oh, behind you, behind you. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck. Did you throw that? Oh, fuck. I'm about to die. I didn't throw anything. He said it's better now. How about you fuck off? All right. Yes, I don't know where. I needed to heal. I'm reloading briefly. Crate is empty. There's a grenade in the trench. Grenade in the trench. Where? Oh, God. Whew. You dead? Nope, I'm alive. All right, reloading. Looking for Jerry. I'm almost out of ammo. There's a guy over there. Oh, shoot. Nope! I leveled up. Back up. Back up. I'm reloading. I'm crouched. I'm safe here. I'm covering you. Defend the baguette. The guy's a grenade out. Okay, I got him. I was lucky. All right, we got to make a charge because they're still capturing the thing, I think. Oh, shit. I, I didn't realize that was part of the map. Yeah, I'm not sure how this game works. You, you aim sucks. Ooh. You. I got this guy. Check this out. Oh. Get fucked, boy. Get fucked. Where are they? Good question. I've got 17 rounds of 30 out 6 Fury. Uh, I see some in the trench beyond. It's actually hey, 185, but man, do we reload slow. Hey, nice work. You have such a m massively higher score than I do, yet our kills are pretty close. I have seven artillery bombardments remaining. <laughs> but can I call in multiple ones? I don't care if you're male, I still called you a bitch. <laughs> coming right at us. <laughs> this guy asked me from like Eastern Europe or something. Dang. He thinks I'm being literal calling him a bitch. He has 102 ping, so you know, he could be from Europe. Where's this? I can't tell, I don't know, where's the server? The server's located in the how, US somewhere. I said, how's my aim now, bitch? And he was like, much better. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I am not the bitch. I'm like, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Left side. Don't be beach. I wish I had grenades. That'd be nice. Yeah. I have Friday off. Thursday's Alt. parent teacher conferences. You're telling me that? I'm telling you that. Yeah? And I think I'm going to have another job interview on Friday. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, yeah. How'd well, the this last one, one go? Uh, I think it went pretty well. Fucking, this is at the place I want to go, right? Right. You know the one I'm talking about? The one that shall not be named, but you have a friend that works there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I shit you not. So I went to Man uh, to Manhattan, which is an hour away from where I live. Yeah, and you're kind of giving that away, but okay. Well, there's lots of places there an hour away from Manhattan. Anyway, the point is that um, True. it's, you know, from the place I want to go, it's four and a half hours from my place, yeah. but only three and a half from Manhattan, therefore. Mm -hmm. So, I went to a hotel in Manhattan thinking, okay, because the interview is at 11. This way I don't have to be on the road by 6 or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. And also I can have a wake-up call because my sleep schedule has been kind of screwed. Make sure that I don't oversleep it, because right? this is the last thing I ever want to oversleep. Right. So I'm in the hotel room. I get to Manhattan just fine. I go to Texas Roadhouse, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, it also is a good excuse to go to Texas Roadhouse, basically. As you do. Yes, of course. Um, and I, I get... You know, I call the desk, says, hey, get me a wake-up call for 515, please. Yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. I go to sleep, you know, I read some Lord of the Rings, and sleep time, and I wake up, and it's just, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So I go, and I take my meds, right? But I realize I haven't heard my wake-up call yet. I just thought, yeah, I'm going to turn on clock, woke me up at 5, as it usually does. And I look at the clock. It was 1.15 in the morning. Oh, jeez. I was That's so jazzed good. up about the interview, you know, because this is the place I right. really want to go. Escape right. the hell prison that I'm in. But of course. just fucking, I took my meds, which by the way, keep me awake 
and our right. key to being able to socially interact with people. Mm -hmm. A full four plus hours early. Mm -hmm. And so it was such that my witching hour was going to come around maybe around the time of my interview or, you know, not uh -oh. long after. It's not good. Uh, no, not good. That is not something you want. Surprisingly, I actually managed to sleep a bit. Um, you know, for the next few hours, I was able to get a fair amount of sleep. And I actually think I did okay in the interview, although I think the first half of the interview was definitely stronger than the second half. I'm not quite sure what did it, but the guy, I think, uh, kind of cooled to me a little bit. I think it might have... Because he asked me about calculators. I think that might have been the thing, possibly. Yeah, I hate them, and unless they're absolutely necessary... Why the heck necessary, would you ask about calculators? Well, what do you think about calculators in the classroom? You know? That's a reasonable thing to ask a math teacher. I guess. Yeah, no, he asked it, and I said, yeah... I'd, no, of course he asked. Unless they're absolutely necessary, I don't use them. You know. Right. I want kids to understand how numbers work. Yeah, of course. So I don't know if it was that or something else, but uh, I think he did cool off to me. Well, but we'll see. I think I have a good shot at it. And if not, there are other opportunities. I've got two schools that still have me in the running and another one. Mm -hmm. yep. Things are looking up, my guy. Absolutely, yeah. I'm going to move towards the right flank here. I'm too far away to hit these bastards accurately. Mm -hmm. Dang, your guy's shooting a lot. What the heck? Well, he has infinite ammo. That's a nice hit. Aim is falling off a little bit with the thing. So well earlier. Ooh, running. I gotta reload. That German looked a lot fatter than the others. He said uncool. Why? He looked fat. No, no. One of our teammates is no, bitching. No. Dead? Yeah. As they do. Mm -hmm. Scrub not having a BAR, am I right? Reloading. I think you said it. <laughs> I am not bitch. I am male. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got me there. Yeah, he does sound e that does sound Eastern European. I gotta admit that. Yeah. Some kind of foreign. I should just say non-English speaker. Warsaw probably. Pact. Estonia. Mm -hmm. nah, I'm thinking more Romania or Hungary or something like that. I'm hungry. What are you gonna do about it? Starve. You're not starving yourself, are you? No. You're not a happy boy when you're doing that. Eh, you know. No, I do know. You are a bitch. And I don't care that you're male. Yeah, right. Anytime someone tries to call me a bitch, I'm like, no, I'm male. <laughs> by the way, no, it's not. BTW, I am male. Yeah, by the way, I am male. Okay, and. Doesn't yeah, because there are totally a, a lot. Cause there are totally a lot of chicks that play this game, and you totally thought he was a girl. Yeah. I mean, what will, the hell? Yeah, I'm sure the player I mean, that's base beyond for autistic. World War One shooter is definitely a female player base. I mean, I just got 102 points. I'm yeah, I'm getting shot at. Oh no, I'm getting stabbed. I think or something. Or something. I don't know. I, red showed up on my screen. I, got and I heard a, a blade noise. Turkey turkey model movement. Oh god, I'm running. I'm getting overrun. I'm gonna turn around and make a stand. Thanks, oh jeez. Am I getting shot on my left side too? I'm reloading. That's surprising. Alright, I'm coming up behind you guys. Time to do work, boys. Many more ammunition soon. Get shot in the face. Right, punch, him in the face punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. Range. If that doesn't work, punch him in the face. <laughs> One of my favorite UFC quotes. That Rogan from, quote? No, it's from Mark Hunt, who's it's like not... a five foot ten heavyweight Kiwi. He's a savage. I gotta say, that does sound like something Rogan. Yeah, he's awesome. He found a guy that's SPS. Seven feet tall. Okay, where's the ammo? It's over here. Where? Should be ammo. Right here. I can't tell which one. <sighs> on the right side, right flank. Yeah, I think I'm gonna miss out on it. How much do you have? 14 bullets. That's not gonna work. Are you here? Come here. Hope I can still grab it during the rain. Should be ammo right here. Okay, good. I'm full. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> 
So what do they call France? They call Russia the motherland, Germany the fatherland. Um, the baguette land? I, I think it's just the land that the fatherland takes when it feels like it. <laughs> the land not worth defending very well. I don't know. The land that manages to take all the vowels and make one sound out of it. Yeah. Bruh. That guy's like the guy at Helm's Deep. They tried to shoot a bunch of times and they, he didn't die. <laughs> really? I, I shot him like four times. I remember that guy. The only guy I remember getting shot at Helm's Deep was the one the old bearded guy shot by accident when they're all holding their fire and then the orcs get No, the orc us. with the torch that dove into the thing. Oh, that guy, right. I think Helm's Deep is uh, a uh, like metaphor for uh, Austria. Is it? Whatever that's Vienna, I think. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Why? Because the cavalry charge and all that stuff. Pretty sure it's Vienna. I could be wrong. I think you need to be more specific. I don't. Know. I don't understand the cavalry. Uh, the winged hussars and all that. Oh, okay. When they have that massive cavalry. I think you just charge. really like Sabaton. I do. That's true. But there was also they planted mines underneath the walls and stuff in the real life mm. thing, and there was they were massively outnumbered. And then a, a cavalry charge like swept up and smoked everybody and freed the city, basically. Hmm. It's a great song, by the way. Oh, sure. But yeah, it was Poland looking out for Austria. Poles are good fighters. People forget that. They really are. They got screwed by the Austrians later. <laughs> well, I mean, they just have the worst geography of all time. That yeah, that's true. I mean, About you're between Germany, Russia, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're just fucked. Arnold. What a legend. I mean, <laughs> you know I, I, what? He provides so much entertainment. You need to, you need to hear that uh, Bill Burr clip about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is, it was with the whole maid thing, and he's talking about how you he's You never get surprised. tired of making fun of Arnold for that, by the way. No, I mean... She's an ugly woman. I like understand objective. that. You know, it's, he's Arnold. He could be with so many hot women, and he's pretty sure he had a super hot wife, and then he cheats with, like, well, a very homely maid. The thing is, Jonathan, that I think he did cheat with other women, too. It's just they didn't get pregnant. Oh, right. You don't get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like, why would you go for that one? I think it's because know? he went for lots of them. And she oh, just... fuck. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, fuck. No, 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 I walked no, no, right no. into it. I don't pay attention to that shit at all. And again, the notification that, oh, your team is calling an artillery strike. Couldn't they have a voice line that says, oh, calling in the artillery strike? Yeah, I didn't hear it. <laughs> I was too busy talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, we're screwed now. We have. Yeah, because these two idiots two guys. are going to pull us through. Well, they don't have a BAR, so. Again, how do you guys have higher scores than I do, and yet I'm, I've slaughtered more people than everyone except you? I think they're using, like, buffing abilities and stuff for teammates that gives them, like, additional points. I think. I mean, I've killed an enemy every other shot. Well, you have five assists. That guy has 38. Oh. You know what I mean? So that might be part of it. How do you get all the assists then? I don't know. Like hitting someone and someone else shoots them? I don't know. Not well, killing someone. Lose. You think killing yeah, people would lose. get me more points though? I agree. I think there's like area of effect buffs they can I use I mean, granted, stuff. if deaths are counted, I've died more than anyone else, too. I Not know. by much. I mean, you have... I have more than twice than me. Five. I have three. Yeah. I, I don't, don't know, know. Maybe. It's yeah, whatever. It's a go-off game. Who cares? Yeah, this guy could be from Europe. There is no doubt about that. I'm not. <laughs> By the way, I am male. By the way, I am male. Okay, oh, what time and... is it? I can't stay on too much longer. Okay. Been, how long have we been playing? 45 minutes. Is it just that much. Huh? The timer's right there in the middle. Oh. Yeah, so there is. Uh, yeah, BAR, massive improvement over the normal rifles. Damn straight. I was using Lee Enfield before, but I don't know what I... Too bad there's no M1. Or Timmy Thompson. Calls it the rifle that won the war. Hey, how's there no Tommy yeah. in this game? Some people claim it is. I don't know if I agree, but... That it's in the game? Oh, you mean that's the rifle? No, won. that it won the war, yeah. I mean, I think it was a big deal, but... I mean, it's a good gun. Yeah. Love it. That sound. Beautiful. Our grandpa talking about how when he was training, they would tell you that 
you know, this this round can go through eight men, and how little, and he, and he said how little comfort they felt about that, about having to have eight guys line up so they could kill them when you know, you're getting, you know, Chinese yeah. man waved or whatever. It's just, yeah, that's right. small comfort. Yeah. <laughs> 30 out 6 is no joke, though. No, not at all. But, but yeah, it's not yeah. the best uh, thing to say that you're going to have eight guys in front of you in a line. A single file line. <laughs> the inherent beauty of the single file line. There weren't even that no, many members in the RVB squad that pulled that. Yeah, I don't think it would go through eight people. I'm going to be honest. 30 well, out six Griff is, is so fat. I mean, he counts for three at least. Right. <laughs> you bring, <laughs> if you broke your arm, great. I out. knew that was the line you were going to go for. Uh, it's just... Sarge, I found many of your decisions to be questionable, if not downright mediocre. Not insult for us, Simmons for him. <laughs> I love red versus blue. Oh the first like eight seasons. Yeah, the rest... those are golden. Yeah, the rest is mixed. Bold. Bag. <laughs> Let's try and inspire the team. <laughs> it's just the two of them. <laughs> Well, I don't know how they didn't just kill him, but okay. What's Kirahi? That's a character from Mass Effect who gives a little speech about holding the line. Hold the line. <laughs> okay, that guy's <laughs> just ran up and stabbed, stabbed him like that. And I stabbed him 37 times in the chest. Man, I saw oh, a really sad Oh, that kills video. people. What? I saw a really... Ooh, that guy's dead. I saw a really sad video of a British guy uh, being interviewed. I believe it was post World War One. I'm exiting. Where? Okay, he was talking about. Hang on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. I'm sorry. I was telling them good luck, ah, okay. and I did give him the bar actually. Aww. Um, he was talking about um, an encounter he had where it was him and a German and uh, and you know they both went at each other with bayonets and talking about it, it was just sad dude like just yeah. hearing the way he said it and just it was sad One it really bummed me die out a horrible death. yeah it was rough and you know just him talking about realizing especially afterwards that he was just like him you know just on different sides and had nothing to do with the grander scheme of every all, all that stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, just sad. Yeah, it's rough. I thought of a gimmick for our next Quake World duel. Not sad. I'll tell you when we get there. Oh, gotcha. Not tonight. I'm not ready for it. I need to hear something. Yeah. Um. Hey, next time we hang out, I need you to help me figure out how to make Serious Sam 3 work on my computer. <laughs> and next time in person, or...? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I start leave... Uh, April 19th. Huh? And I have leave all the way through when I'm leaving mm. the country again. Sick. Are you able to go an hour is... away, more than an hour away? Yes. So... So yeah, um, I might try to take more leave prior to that, but that's the minimum amount that's basically already been approved. Yeah. And what was I gonna say? Um, and we're gonna hang and have fun. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm cleaning up my apartment, brother. You can come and stay here for a bit. Make that's crazy. Money. Nice. Well, I plan uh, to move out, so. Right. I was I have gonna to say, up. dang. Um, balls. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go see uh, Noah, but we'll see. Why couldn't you? Hopefully. Just time-wise, uh, we'll see. I probably will, but I just don't want to make guarantees that I can't. Well, will you see message me the date you're leaving? What? Oh, yeah, so that's what I was going to say. It's uh, Noah's birthday, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. Gotcha. So, I'm obviously not going to say how long you have on leave, because I would give away when Noah's birthday is and when you're leaving. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, so, yeah, and I'll probably take more than that. I've just, they're not even showing me on the schedule, basically, for next month, so they're giving me time to out process, which is a pain. God, it sucks. And then the 19th, I'll be starting leave, so, yeah. 
It's actually I'm leaving on Noah's birthday, but not really anything I can do about that. But you can still visit. Yeah, I mean, sure. No, of course. I'm just saying, leaving on his birthday is what it is. I'll do my best to go visit. I just can't. I don't want to like tell him I'm going to be there and then not be able to do it. Oh, yeah. Well, I think he'll also That'd understand. Be... You know, it's just kind of got your orders or whatnot. Yeah. Where is this? Oh. Sh Uh, what? I'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, I... Uh, hmm. But no, that's good that you have some time off. And uh, Let's see, we can watch Hot Fuzz. Yeah. You want to watch Hot Fuzz? I do. I'll, I'll watch Hot Fuzz with you. I'll watch it again. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what else can we watch together. Uh, uh Kovac is still on credit. Good for him. Who? Kovac. He's an old Quake player who created. Uh, you ever heard of Kovac's Aim Trainer? The Steam game that helps you train your tracking. Uh, I think I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's actually a super duper nerd, um, and a really good old school player. You know. But uh, yeah, he's just a really smart guy. who's thought a lot about these games and brought a lot to the table. I just came across him on Reddit again. He says, "Oh, he still posts actively How about that forty-year-old dude or whatever he is." Man. Yeah, and, you know, those guys been around a long time, you know. Mm -hmm. It's definitely crazy to think about. So yeah, that that'll be a lot of fun. I mean, less than a month. Yeah. See you, brother. For sure. The Texas Roadhouse, an hour away from where I live. <laughs> Not too far. Yeah. And the Longhorn Steakhouse sure. in uh, another city that's a little bit closer. Yeah. I have to say, I visited the Longhorn Steakhouse uh, in that particular city that we went to when you wanted to get that little PlayStation. It's yeah. good. It's good. The The waitress we had that night was, she was an outlier. Waitresses there are mostly very good. And, I'm glad you to know, hear that. not distraught at seeing us. I this think was, you may have, like, sp like, sketched her out a little bit. Not sketched her out, but I annoyed her for sure. Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm like, yeah, annoyed her. I shouldn't say sketched her out. That sounds a lot worse than what I Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. I'm only a public school teacher. It's not as if my reputation matters. Anyway. Eh. <laughs> I've got conferences freaking Thursday. Good luck with that. Well, I, that's the problem isn't the conferences themselves. It's just that we're doing this part of shit. So I kid you not, we're on a five-year plan. Okay, okay, I don't know about you, but the connotation I have with five-year plans is not great. That's a long time. No, I mean, it's a whole Soviet thing. You know, they were always on their five-year plans to get their agriculture started, and every year they starved, you know? Oh, I wasn't aware. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Five so it's point. called Kisa, and it's Kansas something bullshit, whatever bullshit, bureauc bureaucratic bullshit. <laughs> and basically, we have to try new things and, you know, make things different or whatever. Try things out. Oh, for fuck's sake. And one of the things that we're trying out, because we got to try things out, because otherwise it's not okay with our five-year plan or whatever in the fuck, um, is uh, student-led conferences. Where the student comes in with a form and kind of leads the way in the conference and is supposed to, you know, take a lead. I'm just thinking, what the fuck kind of useless shit is this? Because I said, look, what's going to happen is the kid is going to stand there awkwardly, not knowing what the hell to say, while the parent and the teacher both look at him. And then eventually the teacher's just going to start talking to the parent. Yeah, it just seems like a waste of time. Which is exactly what fucking happened. Yeah. And I only had three parents show up because everybody knew these were going to be worthless. You know, <laughs> just, well, what the point? What's the point of that? Now you might say, "Oh, that's great! You only talk to your parents." First of all, I want to talk to the parents. I want to, you know, see what's up. I want to, you know, get things straightened out and so forth. You know, and further, I've got to be there anyway. Yeah, it's I'm stuck in the building. Not as if I get to go home early if nobody comes to me for an hour. Just you could eh. just sit there and read or something. I could. I mean, I usually stand, but it's just it. <laughs> fucking no. Sucks. It's so stupid. Well, no, and here's the best part, right? Because we were asked at an in-service 
What do you think of the student-led conferences? And we all said, all of us teachers said, they suck. suck. Don't do them, they're worthless. And the administrator said, yeah, okay, fine, good, all right, uh, thanks for letting us know. Now we're doing them again. Yeah. What the fuck? Trust me, I know how that goes. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. So stupid. It's not great. So fucking stupid. And it's just, and I know it's because they don't want to have to go through the effort of changing something else to be different or whatever right. to fit in with our five-year plan. And it's just, this is the most worthless bullshit. I have not heard a single person say a single good thing about them. You know why? Because they suck. Because there are none. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nobody likes them. Right. They're awkward, they're obnoxious, they're useless. <laughs> why, you know? <laughs> this is why nobody likes him, because he's a stupid, <laughs> stupid guy. guy. <laughs> I'm going to work that in, that's for sure. <laughs> this is why nobody likes these, because they are stupid stuff. <laughs> It's funny. Come on. Oh, yeah. Like as fighter, I respect him, but this person, I don't understand this guy. Yeah, nobody understands him. <laughs> oh, Tony Ferguson is a weirdo. I'm sure he is. I'm highly educated, motherfucker. I'm highly educated, motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, does he say highly or very? I forget. I think he says very. I'm very educated. Okay. That sounds I mean, right. they're both bad. Yeah. This is a rat race. But I'm no rat. I'm a turtle. <laughs> a fucking ninja turtle. <laughs> it's like he has like four brain cells left after all the CTE. It's freaking brutal. No ears. Yeah, his ears are jacked. Well no, his ears are huge. They just have crazy cauliflower ear. Which is gross. Yeah. You have to like drain the fluid. Yeah, it's nasty. Ah, jeez, I didn't know that. It's bad. It's from wrestling. Yes, I know it's from wrestling. I didn't need to, I didn't need to know that they had to be drained. Mm. Oh, if you don't drain them, they end up like that. Shut up! up. I'm just telling you. I don't want to hear about like, it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to have anyone nibbling on my ears. I don't need to worry about this. That's not what it's from. You know that, right? Yeah, wrestlers bite each other's ears, don't they? No. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. No. How do you get it's them? From, it's from your ears, like, scraping against the mat. Oh. Uh, it your ears up. Uh, well, okay, so it's just trauma on the ear. Okay. Yeah, it's not like you're Same biting difference. other people's ears. What the heck? <laughs> Well, look, Mike Tyson is a perfectly respectable role model. Boxer and not wrestler, yeah. Same thing, they're sweaty. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> I was like saying basketball and boxing are the same because they're sweaty. Yeah, well, yeah. They, they, both, they both wear shorts. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the one defining fact <laughs> they have in common. Therefore, they're the same. Yeah, I mean, one's manly and the other's basketball. Mm. That's fair. Yeah, boxing is crazy. It's so bad for you. Uh, significantly worse than UFC, or whatever type of MMA you want to talk about. It's mm -hmm. significantly worse. Yeah. So what about punches. DMT? Have you ever done DMT? Jamie, pull up that video. <laughs> Jamie, pull that video up. <laughs> Have you seen a, a gorilla bench press a polar bear on DMT <laughs> while the, the bear is higher on tree? Jamie, pull that video up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, there's a horrible video they pulled up one day of a bear eating a deer. Do I want to hear this? Yeah, I mean, sure. Okay. I'm not gonna like play the video, but oh, the bear, you. like bears, when they eat stuff, they don't kill it. They uh, just eat start it. eating it. Yeah. And it's horrifying. This sound. I might say that it's unbearable. Taking. It's so bad. I didn't Good, think it was nice all that joke, bad Unbearable. But no, the sound the deer is making is just horrible. Yeah, I imagine it's just being them like crazy. It's I awful. mean, here's the thing though. I'd probably enjoy it because I hate deer so much. I hate deer too. I did fucked up my mirror. Tons of them where I live. Hit one? Uh, well, I hit her in the face with my mirror, and it broke my mirror. <laughs> and, and I remember saying as I went back home, I hope that it broke so many bones in your face that you can't eat, and that you starve to death, you dumb bitch. Yeah, I bet it didn't, though. I I don't know. I hope. Yeah, there's there's about six deer that live on the road up to my house, and I the speed limit on my that road is 35. I legit go 25. Because yeah. anytime I'm driving home in the dark, they're always there. I think someone's feeding them or something there. Freaking idiots. They're cross all of them are crossing the road can, last can night. We, can we get uh, Pete and Misty to go kill them? I'm down. <laughs> Great. Or it's Misty and what's is the other one Pete? Yeah, Pete and okay, uh, Pete. Missy. Or Missy, okay. Yeah, Pete and Missy and then uh Laurely. Laurely. <laughs> yeah. There's a Marilyn Monroe character in the movie named Lorelei Lee. Yeah. I've never seen a Marilyn Monroe movie. Gentlemen prefer blonde. You'd like that one. It's good. It's in color, too, so that'll help. That's fair. I mean, Marilyn Monroe looks good in anything. 
I was gonna make a joke about her looking better in nothing, but you know. <laughs> no, that's I wouldn't good. know. Well, I don't know. She did nudes. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I haven't seen, and uh, I'm not a JF. I'm not JFK, so. <laughs> well, allegedly, Bobby. I was gonna say one of the Kennedys, but I just figured. Well, I don't he think was... Ted got any. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, hey, you know, she didn't end up drowning, so it yeah, exactly. Have been Ted. Jeez, it's so crazy, dude. People just get away with stuff. It's just, what the fuck? No, dude, I, I, I could... lost uh, seventeen hundred and fifty dollars today in the stock market. I'm sorry. Yeah, it'd be all right. How's American Airlines doing? Good. I mean, it's up overall from where I bought in. So. Yeah, I don't know. I remember somebody, a colleague of mine, who is very much, uh, shall we say, democratic, mm. who was uh, talking about that. That drowning is just, yeah, another Kennedy tragedy. I said, uh, no, that's not Kennedy tragedy. That is a Mary Jo Kopechny tragedy. Oh my goodness. He's the one that drowned. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. I mean, I don't know how you see that and just be like, ooh, what a coincidence. Well, you know what I mean? no, not a coincidence, but, you know. I, well, no, I thought that he did it intentionally. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, even other stuff, like other politicians that have, you know, whacked people that we all are pretty sure they did it, you know. I mean, certain, you know. <laughs> Obviously, you know, Harry Reid has been busy. Say again. Obviously, Harry Reid is who we're talking about. Harry Reid. I'm just kidding. Senate Majority Leader for a while. Is mm. Shout out to Andy Reid. Super yeah, not related. Coach. Oh, I figured they weren't. No, thank God. I have a lot of games on Steam. Yeah, so do I. That I have not played. Same here. That's nuts. Steam yeah. is the worst about that. So it's just easy to accumulate games? Yeah. Yeah, because the wishlist feature, it's just, oh, look, an item on your wishlist is on sale. Yeah. Like, well, fuck, I gotta buy it's it hard. now. It's hard. sales, man. They hit. They really do stuff. Man. They... they do. But, you know, you buy a game for five bucks, and it's just, yeah, maybe I'll play it someday. Whatever. I have Dark Forces. I do, too. I can't get it to work properly on PC. Maybe, should I buy Dark Forces on PS1? I don't know, maybe. I remember it being cost. fun. But I also remember the Phantom Menace game being a lot funner than it was. <laughs> Those controls are so shit. How did we play yeah, with they're that? Bad. They're so it's... atrocious. Some games just don't hold up. And then there's games that are far below that, and that's the Phantom well, Menace. We knew that game was not that great at the time. We just played it because we liked it. True. You know, we didn't have any taste back then. <laughs> I mean, True. you still don't, but... You know, it was, um, it was just, it was Star Wars, so we're gonna play it, you know? And, hey, you're Qui-Gon, doors open, let's go, you know, it's just... Doors open, let's go. Yeah, exactly, yeah, the obviously not Obi-Wan or Qui-Gon voice. Yeah, obviously or... not Liam Neeson. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see, Star Wars. Dark Forces. I think that thing is 64 megabytes or something, you could fit it onto an audio CD. I thought you were about to say $64, I was like, oh, no. No, not quite. I bet it's like six bucks. I mean, I don't know. A remaster of that game might be cool looking. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. That'd you should play the new Doom, by the way. I should. I have it. I just haven't gotten around I to it. I have both of the new ones. I think I have Doom Eternal. I don't know. Do I have Doom Eternal on PC, though? I don't have it on X. No, I have Doom Eternal on uh, PC. I don't have it on Xbox. I have both on my PC. Yeah. So, if you ever wanted to play it. Uh, yeah, seven, seven dollars. Plus five dollars shipping, so that's a scam. Mm -hmm. Hey, Boba Fett's on the back. I remember the the Dark Troopers yeah. thing scene. Oh, I forgot about the mines you can use. Pack base was destroyed within minutes. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, eBay maybe. Well, I don't know. That that woman did actually kind of sound like Mon Mothma a little bit, but. Bruh, thirty eight dollars. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. It's brand new though, like, yeah, no. Probably has a manual and everything. There's no way in hell I'm paying three. All the bells and whistles. You're crazy. GameStop, let's see if GameStop has it. Shout out to GameStop, by the way. Yeah, what was the deal with that? Oh, dude, I'm not nearly smart enough with stocks to understand. Man, I just don't understand. They restricted the market on it or some shit? I, I can't. Yeah, I, it sounded like mutual funds we're trying to short GameStop, basically betting that they're going to go out of business. And then those guys on Reddit realized that. And they recognized that if they bought a bunch of GameStop, that would make the price go up, right. causing the causing those mutual funds to pay 
the higher price for it, the way higher price than what it was intended. Okay. And it screwed them out of like a shitload of money, which I'm okay with because I mean, fuck it's them. A free, it's a market, you know, you just buy what you can. Yeah, and whatever. exactly. So whatever you use your and, all, and all the freaking like stock people and huge investors are like, you guys are manipulating the market. You can't do that. It's like, well, because you guys are always fucking doing that. Fuck you guys, you know? I, whatever. I don't, I don't think yeah. anything particularly wrong with that necessarily. People are spending their money. Boom. I mean, if I had put my money into GameStop at the correct time and gotten out, at the correct time, I'd have like eight million dollars. Sure, yeah, it's freaking nuts. It's always easy to say that, man. Of course, of course, you never, know, you never know. So it looks like it's about ten to fifteen bucks for Dark Forces. Do you think that's worth getting? I mean, you know, it was fun. I remember. I mean, I don't know how much you trust uh, the electricity where you are to not fuck up your machine. Oh no, I mean, just in general. Well, that's what happened to my computer. I can't even buy a new battery for my computer because they don't make them or whatever anymore. So the fuck? I have to leave my laptop plugged in all the time because my the electricity in the country I was in overseas, um, even though it was rated within the tolerance of my my charger for my laptop, still screwed up my my battery and fucked it up. So it sucks. Yeah, not great. Pretty salty about it, honestly. Yeah. No thank you, Kanye. Be Not cool. Yeah. <laughs> no thank you, Kanye. Uh, it'd be cool if I could just get a new battery and replace it, but it looks like I can't. So. That's so weird that you can't even get a replacement. Yeah. I mean, I, I can understand your desire for a new computer a lot better. Yeah, I need to get... I think when I get over to overseas again, um, I will purchase like a nice actual computer instead of a laptop and just kind of go all the way over to PC instead of playing a lot of Xbox as well. You can play both, you know? I mean, no, yeah, I know. I'm going to keep my Xbox One, but, I mean, I'm not going to buy, like, a new Xbox, the new one that came out, because it's still, like, $600, and people are scalping, and they're pricks. I mean, they can only get away that. with it if people are willing to pay it. No, I agree. I would never pay a scalp. You know, people are paying, like, $1,000 for a PS5 when it's worth 500 I would never do that. I would never encourage people to scalp. I would just be patient, like I, like exactly. I, you know, have always. And enough been. people are patient. I eat cheap, then. The rest of them yeah. Come. Well, it's like the same thing when people are hoarding like hand sanitizer during coronavirus and selling it for like eighty dollars a bottle, and then all the people were like, "Fuck you!" And the dude was stuck with like four hundred bottles, like and like the big industrial sized bottles mm -hmm. of hand sanitizer, and no one would buy them from him. Yeah. Market has a way of doing that shit. No, I agree. I just, I don't like the idea that, I don't like the idea that people would do that to other people. I also don't like the idea that people would feed into it. You know what I mean? I just don't oh, like I mean, look, people are going to do what's in their self-interest. That, that's one of my axioms. You know, people are going to do what they think will benefit themselves. That's just like, right. But uh, are they dick? Be a sure. Dick, you know oh, what sure, I mean? Sure, absolutely. But uh, what's the alternative? Uh, and I mean, it'd be different if it was like a person buying a couple of PlayStations and selling one of them, you know? But people are using like bots and stuff to immediately spam these websites and just get all of, you know what I mean? Like buy like 20. I guess. Is it's that, ridiculous. I mean, you know, people can put out ads, they can hire people to buy shit for them and yeah, it. I, don't know. It's, I just don't like it. And, and sure. the, part of it's the problem is the game companies because they're fucking idiots and they never make enough damn consoles at the start. It's so stupid. Why do they do that? I don't know. Maybe they're in league with the scalpers. Probably. I mean, <laughs> I would be surprised. Pricks. That's another thing too. Is like, why would you ever buy a console right when it comes out? You know, like yeah, look no, back I... at the like the Xbox 360 for example, right? The first one had like a 20 gigabyte hard drive. And it was mm. a piece of shit. By the time the Xbox 360 got like two years down the line, they had the Elite that had six times the memory and ended up being significantly cheaper and faster than the original you know what i mean if you just wait a year or two and then just buy the way better version i don't i don't know well some people care. are impatient you know or there are new games that are coming out for it you know that could be yeah. a good one i imagine i mean if i were marketing a console i would definitely have an all-star lineup of games to go with it right that's just makes sense yeah um I don't know. Man, the freaking Xbox One launch titles were trash. Well, and I imagine we're a bit more discriminating in our taste, you know, where it's just kind of, yeah, I don't really need the latest console or whatever. The, or... Well, that's the thing is, like, a PC is generally going to be a better investment. Plus, I can actually use it for, like, school and shit like that. Yeah, I can teach you how to use Sony Vegas. You can make your own videos. 
Yeah, there you go. I could make my own videos. My own vidges. Hey, I'll help you out um, with the script writing, brother. Yeah. I am, uh... Not creative enough for that, I don't think. Yeah, but I think you could bring a lot better rage than I could. <laughs> I just I, get... Yeah. I don't like yelling. Yeah, I get really angry. I don't think I yell as much as people think I do. I just... I'm loud, you know? I'm not meaning to yell. Oh my. I guess, if that makes sense. We have that in common. Yeah. I, I mean, there was a couple times at work today where I was talking... And then I realized, like, I could hear, like, my echo off the wall all the way down the hallway. It was, like, 25 feet away. I was like, damn, I'm laughing. You know. What you playing? Wake. Nice. Playing against a bot right now. Nice. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go. I think I'm gonna go, uh, relax. Maybe go, go to bed. I, I only got, like, two hours of sleep last night, so I'm pretty tired. Yeah. And I need to go to bed pretty soon.